Uh, let's talk about the Cardinals for a second. Nine and one. Pools has been hitting like prime pools, which is beautiful to see. Um, I'm rooting for the Cardinals. They're leading the Central right now. Here we go. Week two of my MLB Power Rankings. Second week in a row. Very excited to get this done. No Chris again. I promise I will get him on one before the end of the season. He is just very busy. Uh, but here we go. MLB Power Rankings. Make sure you guys drop a like. Drop your comments down below as well. Hit the subscribe button and let's go. So number 30. Again, this for this week, it's the Nationals. I mean, they're 4-6. and six, The worst team in baseball. Pretty straightforward. You traded Juan Soto. You're in a full rebuild. Let's let's move on. Number twenty nine this week, same as last week. I got the Oakland A's. Um, same thing, rebuild four and six, not doing well. At number twenty eight this week, down two spots. I got the Pittsburgh Pirates. They've went two and eight over their last ten, and they just have not looked good. I mean, they still got the young core. Uh, like most of these teams at the bottom, they're rebuilding, and it, it's going to be a rough couple of uh, months for the rest of the season. I got up one spot from this week at number 27. I got the Tigers. Same as the rest. Rebuilding. Uh, playing the young guys. Not much to say there. I mean, shout out to Miggy for still going on strong. Got number 26 this week. Up one spot. I got the Reds. Same as the rest. Rebuilding. Uh, got not not much going on as well. Uh, kind of in a dogfight just for positioning. Letting the young guys play it out. Pretty straightforward there. I got down one spot at number 25 this week is the Royals. Same thing as a bunch of, you'll see a lot of these young guys, uh, small, lower teams, I guess we'll call them. Um, they're, they're letting the young guys play. I totally agree with it. Um, and there's not much to say really about these small, uh, the lower teams. Number 24 here, uh, I got a big drop here, down three spots. As they went 2-8, and eight, I got the Miami Marlins. Uh, very un unfortunate too, especially because Alcantara has been one of the best pitchers in the league and probably will win the NL Cy Young. Uh, just the rest of the team's not there. I mean, you made a trade with the Jays. You gave up two pen arms that were really helping you. That pen is really weak now. Groshans is a nice addition. Hopefully, you can pan out for you guys. But I mean, at this point, you're you're looking at a just kind of letting the young guys play for the rest of the season. At this point, you're kind of out of the division race. You're out of the wild card race. I say. And, yeah, you're starting to look towards next year. Speaking of it out of the wild card race, down three spots here. I got the Angels at 23. Three and seven, and oh, my God. Trout, Otani, I'm so sorry. You guys are on the one of the worst franchises in baseball. These guys do not know how to manage a team. Uh, Cindercard is, was there, and now he's gone. I, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, maybe blow up the team at this point, but it's just not working. I got the same spot here at 22 from last week. I got the Rockies. Like most of these teams here, the Rockies are kind of still a young team that are letting their young guys play. Bryant was a nice addition during the offseason. Um, and they've been 4-6 and six in their last 10. I mean, it's not very exciting, really. They, they've just been scraping out wins, really. Number 21 this week, I got up four spots. I got the Cubs, who went 6-4 and four in their last 10. Uh... The Cubs are probably the lovable losers of the NL. Everyone loves the Cubs. Everyone loves the uh, just history of the Cubs, the significance of the Cubs. But let's be real, you're not competing this year. You're not going to be competing probably next year. You're probably at least two or three years away. Um, so I, let's get September calls are coming up soon. Let the young guys play and just ride out the rest of the season. Coming in at number 20, I got the Diamondbacks. Uh, they're up one spot from last week. They're four and six. They're letting the young guys play. Akil Thomas has been honestly one of my favorite players to watch from what I've seen in the Diamondbacks. Um, other than that, I mean, it's kind of sucks. Zach Allen, I don't even know if he's pitched this year. Bumgarner has been terrible for them since signing him. Uh, you trade David Peralta, which was a good trade because let's be real, you guys weren't making the playoffs. And like most of these teams here, you're just gonna, we're going to start seeing these kind of teams let their young guys play in the September call-ups uh, in a couple weeks. At number 19 this week, up 
four spots. I got the Rangers. They went seven and three. I mean, there's not much to say. Seven and three is why they're up here. Let's be real. They're not going to make playoffs. They're not really that good of a team yet. Give them a couple years and the Rangers will be up there. At number 18, I got the Giants again. Six and four, way better than they did last week, but still in a dogfight in that NL West, NL Central, NL West. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. I really don't. I think they're kind of out at this point. I'm surprised they didn't trade Rodon at the deadline. Number 17 this week, I got the Red Sox again. Same thing as the Giants. They're 6-4 and four again this, this week. Um, and I'm surprised they didn't trade some of the pieces. Martinez is one of them for sure. J.D. Martinez, I thought would have got traded. Maybe even Valdi. But, yeah, the Red Sox are kind of in a re- retooling stage like the Giants. At number 16, I got the White Sox. Again, 6-4 and four this week. But, oh, my God, this team is underperforming like crazy. And I'm sorry. I mean, Tony La Russa just this week is probably the worst manager in baseball. I've come to the conclusion. He walked. But he had Jake Demon on the mound. He walked some guy down one and two. Already down runs. I don't understand it to load the bases. I mean, just retire at this point, Tony. I'm sorry, buddy. At number 15 this week, I got the Twins. Five and five in their last ten. Twins are a very interesting team. I mean, they got Buxton, Correa, Sanchez. Um, I don't think they've panned out to what people have thought. I think people thought they were going to be a little bit worse. I think they thought the White Sox were going to run away with this division. But, I mean, the Twins are right there. They're in a spot. They're in a fight with the Guardians. They're only two games back for the AL Central. And if they're going to make the playoffs, that's how they're going to make it here. Um, same thing with the White Sox. As mentioned, the two, back, two games back. So, we'll see what happens in the next couple weeks. It'll be an interesting AL Central fight. Number 14 this week, I downed three spots, and I'm so sorry to do this. It's the Baltimore Orioles. After having an amazing 8-2 and two the previous week, they go 5-5 five and five this week, and yeah, Baltimore's come down to earth a little bit. I'm still super proud that they're in the race. I'm so happy for it. I really am rooting for them to make the AL wild card as long as the Jays make it as well, but love to see some competitive ball. Ali Rutschman looks like the real deal. That guy is phenomenal. They just played the Little League World Series game. Uh, this week, so that was phenomenal. Um, yeah, Baltimore, man. Uh, you guys are selling out stadiums. It's glad to see you guys back in baseball. Number 13 in the current AL Central uh, leader, I have the Cleveland Guardians. 6-4 and four this week. They're up one spot from last week. And the Guardians have come out of nowhere. Their pitching staff is probably one of the best in baseball, I would say. Those guys are manufacturing pitchers over and over again. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, Bieber, James Karen check out of the pen, so on and so forth. Yeah, not much to say. If they're going to make it in, I don't think they'll go far in the playoffs, but good good to see the Guardians making a run for the AL Central after everyone was really counting them out this year and making, making them the third seed in the Central. At number 12 this week, I got the, my Toronto Blue Jays. We're down two spots. Haven't had the greatest of weeks, 5-5. Five and five. Just played really well against the Yankees. Lost a bunch to the Orioles, though, which was tough. Um... Jays are very hit or miss. We're starting to get Springer back healthy. The rotations look better. Kikuchi's been finally moved to the pen, so hopefully that'll help the Jays out. But, yeah, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. You guys start pulling wins here if we're going to want to catch the Yankees. At number 11, I got the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. They're up two spots. Sorry, I was looking at something else. They're up two spots this week. And even though they went 4-6... and six, you still got to count they have more wins than the that's the teams below them. They're still a really good team. I think just out of the top 10 is pretty safe. Um, who knows? Maybe they turn it on and catch and win the Central, but it's looking like they're going to battle for a wild card spot. And, I mean, just trade Josh Hader and DFA Dennis Lamet, and I don't know really what's going on with Milwaukee down there. Starting up the top 10, I got down one spot. I got the Seattle Mariners, 6-4 and four this week. Still strong season, strong uh, week, a strong season, I guess, in total. Just the teams ahead of them have been better. Mariners, got, I full-on have, uh, full-on, what's the word, full-on faith that they're going to make the playoffs this year. They're going to end that drought, uh, even if it's just a wild-card team. J-Rod's been phenomenal. And I know he got hurt a little bit, but he's back, I believe. So that's great. And that pitching staff's been pretty decent, too. 
Coming in at number nine in the biggest jump this week from 14 to 9, I got the Tampa Bay Rays. They go 8 and 2 this week. They claim the first wild card spot in the AL Central. And yeah, the Tampa Bay Rays are the Tampa Bay Rays again. They look like the Rays again. They had a little flunder a couple months, let's say last month. Um, but they look like themselves. They're, they're guys out of their pen. You don't know their names, but they're going to throw 100 miles per hour with movement and plus stuff. Shane McClanahan's look phenomenal. Uh, the bats are starting to come around with the Rosarena. But yeah, number one wild card seed for the AL. I got the Rays here at number nine. Number eight, down two spots, I got the Phillies. Only reason Phillies are down here really is because they went four and six and the other teams did a lot better um, re- with respect to the record. But Phillies, they're going to battle with that a- that NL uh, East. And, I mean, I think they'll make the wild card. I really do. If not, they're just going to finish outside of it. But I would love to see Harper in the playoffs. <sighs> Number seven here, I got the Padres who go up one spot. They go 5-5. Five and five. They play a little bit better. They got the monkey off the back now after the Soto uh, trade. And really, this team should start... If this team turns it on, it's going to be scary. They could easily put up a 10, 10 wins next week, maybe even more um, in the next couple weeks. So we'll see what happens here. But the Padres could be a scary team. Coming at number 6, and one spot up from last week is the jersey I got on here. I got the Cardinals. Uh, let's talk about the Cardinals for a second. Nine and one, Pujols has been hitting like prime Pujols, which is beautiful to see. Um, I- I'm rooting for the Cardinals. They're leading the Central right now. Uh, everyone's playing well. Jordan Montgomery, their pickups have been phenomenal. Uh, Jose Guantana has been pretty good. Um, the lineup of Goldschmidt, Pujols, Arenado, uh, Yachty's been decent. That O'Neill, what, so on and so forth. That team's been really, really good. And I almost wanted to put them in number five, but they only got 70 wins. So, you know what? Maybe next week they can creep into number five if the teams ahead of them keep flunking like they're doing. But number six right now, just outside the top five, solid spot for St. Louis. At number five, I got the big bad Yankees. They go four and six. They finally pick up a couple wins. Um, They're down one spot from last week still because they are the Yankees. They have been passed. In the win department by other teams ahead of them. But, I mean, there's not much to say. Aaron Boone's been sick of the questions. Everyone's sick of the questions. I don't know what's going on with the Yankees. Um, They lost two out of three of the Jays, I'm pretty sure, last week, if I'm not mistaken. But who knows what happens here with the Yankees this week. Uh, They could either all of a sudden turn around and go 10-0 or they could go 0-10. Number four, one, one spot up, I got the Braves. They're closing on the Mets on that on that uh, AL Cent uh, AL Central <laughs> NL East. I don't know where I got the AL Central from. NL East. Uh, they're the number one wild card scene in the in the West. I almost called it the West the National League. As you can see, I'm a little tired. Yeah, Braves are Braves. They're gonna keep playing. Uh, Charlie Morton has been phenomenal this week. I just want to point him out there. That guy has been racking me up fantasy points like crazy. Uh, but the rest of the lineup. I mean, Olson, Acuna. Darno, Swanson, uh, William Contreras, the rest have just been phenomenal. At number three this week, the exact same as last week, I'm going with the Astros. Six and four, Astros are the, the best team in the AL East, and they're playing like it. I mean, they're free, the free agent. Their trade uh, acquisitions have been really, really good for them. Justin Verlander looks like a fine wine. Al, Jordan Alvarez is still Jordan Alvarez. The Bregman looks good. Uh, their rookie shortstop there has been phenomenal. The Astros look tough. Coming in number two, the exact same as last week, as they went 5-5 five and five this week. I'm going with the Mets. They lean the NL East, second best team in the league. Not much to say. That's why they're number two. Coming in number one, the best team in baseball right now, and the best power ranking, uh, or the hottest, I guess, team right now, is the Dodgers. They go 7-3 and three this week. They don't go 10-0 and 0 in their last 10. They're 84 and 36. I mean, that team is ridiculous. I watched them play the uh, Padres, I think. No, they played the Marlins when I saw them on TV. And they were ridiculous. I mean, I don't know how you get out with that lineup. One through nine looks crazy. Plus the pen, plus the pitching staff. I mean, if the Dodgers don't win the World Series this year, it's going to be a failure, in my opinion. So that's all for the power rankings this week. If you guys like it, make sure you drop a like. Uh, tune in next week 
when we do an updated power rankings as well hit the subscribe button drop some comments down below let me know what you think about these power rankings let me know what you think i'm crazy about and we'll see you guys all next time goodbye